This short video will help you replace your blue Schick 33 2.0 sensor cable with a new gray Schick 33 3.0 sensor cable. Each Schick replacement cable kit includes all of the necessary components for the Schick 2.0 to 3.0 cable upgrade. These components include replacement screws, replacement covers, replacement elastomeric strips, replacement gel discs, and a replacement cable. There are extra replacement parts in each kit in case you misplace one during the cable exchange process. Before beginning, you may also want to grab some powder-free gloves and make sure you have tweezers available. Now, let's get started. First, check the sensor. Schick 33 sensors look similar to this and use white elastomeric strips. Please clean and dry your hands before performing this procedure. If you choose to wear gloves, they must be powder-free. Place the sensor on a clean, stable, moisture-proof surface. Next, using a dental instrument or something similar, Carefully remove the tab cover from the back of the sensor. You can dispose of the tab cover, as a new one will be used when the cable replacement is attached. Next, remove the blue gel disc if present on the top of the screws. After this, loosen and remove the two screws that secure the cable using the screwdriver supplied in your kit. You can dispose of the gel disc and screws as new ones are supplied with the replacement. Now remove the cable from the sensor. After removing the cable, you will notice an elastomer, or frame and strip, that helps connect the cable to the sensor. Using your fingers, remove and replace it with a new white elastomer. Dispose of these parts as they will be replaced. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will be replacing a Schick 33 sensor with a new white elastomeric strip. Take a new white frame from the spare parts kit and carefully place it into position. When placing the white frame with strip into position, make sure that the flat surface is facing up and the notched cutout faces the longer side of the sensor. Avoid contact with the gold section in the center. After inserting the white frame with strip, apply a small amount of finger pressure around the outer edges to ensure that it is seated squarely in the cutout area. It is important that the strip be seated properly for the sensor to function. Now you're ready to attach the new cable. Remove your new cable from the kit and align the cable to the sensor so that the gold sensor key in feature connects to the corresponding green and gold key in the cable. When properly aligned, the cable will fit in the back of the sensor evenly and the metal area will be completely covered. Remove the two new screws from the kit. Using the screwdriver, tighten the first screw just until you feel some resistance. Repeat this action for the second screw. Fully tighten both screws and make sure they are securely tightened. Using tweezers, remove a gel disc from its paper backing and place it over one of the screws you just tightened. Make sure that the gel material completely covers the screw. Remove another gel disc and repeat this action for the second screw. Take a new tab cover from your replacement kit. Place the new tab cover over the screw slot while applying downward pressure, especially in the middle of the tab. When the tab completely covers the slot, snap it into place. You have now completed your cable replacement and you are ready to get back to taking images with your sensor.